Let's see what the fans of the UFL have to say about our teams. I love the UFL. What's your favorite UFL team? Shark Bus All Stars. Do they rock? Oh, yeah, big time. I love the Mighty Ducks. I love Decker Team. I love What a Burn Thylacine. Yes, you do. <laughs> I love the nice marmots. Go, Bush Fatters! She likes everything. I love Next stamp. UFO, UFO, UFO. Hi, this is Commissioner Dave Irwin and you've reached the UFL Weekly Report. Well, week two's in the books, and talk about a topsy-turvy week. We had some winners, we had some losers. A lot of losers, actually. In fact, other than four teams, all of you are at one and one. Let's take a look at how uh, a week two shaped up. The Q, 339.9, to the losing Brownies, 295.10. How do you get 339.9? It's easy. 149.2 points from Carson Palmer, 49 points from Braylon Edwards, and 37.2 uh, points from the Chicago defense. For Dave Toller, 19 points from Reggie Wayne, that wasn't going to do it. The Q and Jeff Altamari go to 1-1. One one. Dave Toller and the Brownies, also 1-1. One one. Our next game, the Bushwhackers, 270-60 to G Heights Hustlers, 252-90. 32 points from Kellen Winslow, you got to like that. And good kitten of points again for Kenny Belays as he gets the win. Um... Uh, Witten had a human game this week after having a big game in week one. He only got Chris 7.4 points and 17.5 uh, from Randall L. Al Zakuri or whatever his name is, spelled doom for Chris. The Bushwhackers go to 2-0. and The G Heights Hustlers, 1-1. One one. Short Bus All-Stars, 287.80. The Nice Marmots, 283.40. Lamont Jordan, 63.6 points for dragging this week. And Breeze was a little bit better. And that New England defense, lots of points for Eric. For Dwayne, McNabb got him 82, and Edger and James got him 63.6. That's why this game was close. But in the end, Eric and the Short Bus All-Stars moved to 1-1. One one. Nice Marmots dropped to 0-2. Oh Eric Young and the next champs, 283.70 to the losing Mighty Ducks and Christine Irwin at uh, 264.50. Uh, uh, Chad Johnson jumped into the dog pound, also got 64.8 points for Eric this week. And Huskadoozy, another 33.8. For Christine and the Ducks, Mark Bulger got her 104.6, but only 14 points from Plaxico Burris this week. Um, she did get... Uh, uh, only 6.6 .6 points out of Vernon Davis at tight end. That may be a position that she needs to look into. The Ducks dropped to 0-2. Eric and the next champ moved to 1-1. One one. Tackler T, 285-70. The Goobers, 266-40. Over 40 points for Roy Williams and over 60 for Brian Westbrook is enough to put Tracy over the top. Brady went crazy for Jeremy Shue and the Goobers, but it wasn't enough. He only got one point from his defense this week. That ain't going to cut it. Uh, Tracy and Tackler T uh, move up to 1-1. One one. Jeremy drops also to 1-1. One one. The formula for Payne Incorporated seems to be close games. Payne Incorporated, 252.90. Titans.com, 251.20. It's a difference of 1.7 points. 41 points for Adrian Peterson. And a Cole Burnin, Marcus Colston, seals the deal like a seal -a meal for Payne Incorporated. All the all Dell bets were off. Uh, as Mike needed a bunch of points uh, from Liddell. He got him pretty good points, but not enough. The Payne Incorporated moved to 2-0, and while Titans.com drops to 1-1. One and, one. and if you haven't figured this out yet, it's been a crazy fantasy football year so far. A lot of players that you drafted real high aren't giving you crap when it comes to points. I mean, listen to this. LaDainian Tomlinson has a total of 68 yards rushing on the season. Only 1.9 yards per carry. That's like that much. That's it. And look at this, Steven Jackson, Larry Johnson, Maurice Jones-Drew, Reggie Bush, Drew Brees, Marcus Colston. Where are you guys? We drafted you high. Do us a favor. How about scoring us some points? Well, this has been the UFL Weekly Report. 
Uh, go back and check the website uh, later this week, and we'll have the week three previews. Remember, the UFL. It's all about you. See ya.